It's uh, Stu from Retro Hollywood. Welcome to a 1976 series that could be described as Mad Max for kids. Yeah, uh, Mad Max for kids with a bit of Star Trek original series and Lost in Space original series thrown in the mix as well. Yeah, dig the 70s hairstyles, but this was one year before Star Wars. Welcome to Arc 2, the 15-episode uh, TV series nobody knows about. My favourite episode is called The Tank, where that previously pictured young guy drives around the countryside in this pictured tank. A bit of uh, 70s series Space 1999 in the costume design. Some uh, teenage viewers of the 1970s liked the show just for this girl in front of you, Ruth. Enough said. There was a bit of uh, Will Robinson from Lost in Space in the characterization of this kid, Samuel. Adam talks, repeat, Adam talks, but he doesn't do it very often. The story goes that the, uh, in real life, in real life, the Arc 2 vehicle was almost impossible or very difficult to drive because as you can see, they could never actually, the driver could never actually see where he was going because of the, uh, design of the craft. <laughs> they had a hell of a time filming this series way back in 1976. But let's get on to the uh, Lost in Space original series quirks. Here, yeah, a guy in a jetpack, just like Lost in Space original series. And uh, Robbie the Robot made a guest appearance in one episode, just like he did in Lost in Space. He appeared in Lost in Space twice, but of course, originally, he came from the 1956 motion picture Forbidden Planet. Jonathan Harris from Lost in Space made a guest appearance in the opening episode, and as you can tell by the photograph in front of you, that guest appearance was not so good. Don't judge Arc 2 by the first episode. Uh, it gets off to a rocky start. As you can see, one episode has a touch of 2001 A Space Odyssey. And one episode has Mr. Howell from uh, Gilligan's Island. As you can see by this photograph, not all the 15 episodes were great, but uh, enough of them were. Have you been listening to the Star Trek original series sound effects during this video? Well, those sound effects were actually used for the Arc 2 vehicle. Now, this is the show is not as good as Lost in Space original series or Star Trek original series, but it does have one thing over those two shows, and that is location filming. The uh, Trek and Lost in Space, they were filmed too often in a bloody soundstage, but Arc 2 got out on location. It is a beautiful looking series, as you can tell by this photograph in front of you. And uh, two other points in closing. The music cues are incredible, and the show is very rewatchable. I give Arc 2 8 out of 10. Stu from Australia, signing out.